I stopped watching the Oscars a long time ago because I noticed a pattern in the black people that would win awards. I noticed that they would win awards for the worst roles that they've ever played as far as like human behavior goes, right? I noticed that Halle Berry won from Monsters Ball, which was a disgusting movie. She basically won at the time. The the rumor was, did she have sex with Billy Bob Thornton for real during this movie because the scene was so realistic. She did such a great job having sex with decrepit looking Billy Bob Thornton on film. Not only that, but she won an Oscar for beating her fat black son because he was sneaking snacks and cheating on her convict husband with Billy Bob Thornton who worked at the jail. So it was a disgusting character, but she won an Oscar for it and she was elated. I was disgusted. Um, then Denzel won, and this is not in order or anything, which is, these are just the ones that I noticed. Denzel won the Oscar for Training Day. Now, Denzel at that time, even at that time, had been in a lot of movies. And why would he get the Oscar for a crooked cop? Don't get me wrong. He did amazing as he always does. But why that role? Why that role he gets an Oscar for it? And then let's move on to the worst of them all, Monique. I love Monique, but Lord, she won an Oscar for the worst movie ever produced, in my uh, opinion, because that was the one movie, after I saw it, I wished for my innocence back. I wished that I had never seen what I just saw. And they gave her an Oscar for it. So at that point, I was done. And I realized that what they were trying to do. They were trying to make us go down in history with the worst roles imaginable. Now, let's move on to Will Smith. Will Smith now was up for an Oscar for an actual role that was positive. A heterosexual black father who was able to catapult his children into the next level, into the stratosphere, not even the next level, into the stratosphere. This strong black man. So I just, I, I don't know whether it was real. I don't know whether it was fake, but I do know that my melanin is tingling over the fact that this happened the night that we were supposed to be honoring Richard Williams. I do recognize that. And I also recognize the fact that I think it was uh, Jason Black was saying that there was an all black production crew that night who had to clearly be on their toes to figure out how to go about this. Now, I'm going to ask a question. How many people will lose their jobs over what happened that night? I don't know. But I just find it all very, very odd. I'm going to put all the things that I've, that's been on my mind out, okay? Now, I don't know what this has to do with anything, but everyone was saying, okay, well, you know, um, uh, Will Smith is tired of Chris Rock making fun of Jada because he made fun of Jada because um, she said she was going to boycott the the oscars because oscar's so white okay now i do understand chris rock's joke it's a valid joke but i will say this when has chris rock ever been down for a boycott a protest a strong talking to mm. chris rock on stage is woo pro black fist throw it up but when he get off that stage he's usually the only black guy in the room I know because I've watched him for years. You know what I'm saying? He's always around like Seinfeld and Adam Sandler and, you know, SNL guys. And those are his friends. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just telling you guys what I noticed. Okay. This is just what I noticed. Will Smith, on the other hand, now I don't know what he's done lately, but I do know that back in the day, okay, the rappers boycotted MTV because MTV did not have a rap category. And guess who was a part of that boycott? It was Will Smith back when he was a rapper. Will Smith, Queen Latifah, Kid and Play, Saw and Pepper, all of them boycotted, and it was more, you know, they all boycotted the MTV Awards and they were able to get what they want. That's when they stuck together. When does Chris Rock stick with black people? I'm just saying, I'm just, I love Chris Rock. This is, this is no T, no shade. I'm just, I just, this is just was rolling around in my brain, you know. Okay. Now we're going to get to the G.I. Jane part. I don't 
don't know why Jada would be so upset at the G.I. Jane reference because it's not like Chris Rock calls her Samuel L. Jackson. G.I. Jane is a woman and she was a warrior slash soldier. So why would you be upset that he called you G.I. Jane? Where is the insult? I know you got alopecia and maybe you was a little sensitive about it, but I'm really, I'm struggling to find the insult. He did not call you a man. He called you another bald woman. He didn't even call you Sinead O'Connor, which would have been an insult, but he did not. He called you a soldier, strong woman, warrior, right? And that movie wasn't even a joke. Like it, it, it did pretty well back in the day. It did pretty well. It was a, it was a pretty good movie. So I'm, I'm struggling to find the insult that warranted that response. I, I'm just, I'm struggling to find it. And, 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 and as a woman, I would not want my man to put our livelihood in jeopardy over that joke. There are other jokes that are being told on a regular basis. Jokes that would not be told if Miss Jada herself did not get on TV and tell us. There, there are actual jokes being told that are way more crazy than G.I. Jane. And the fact, the only reason that these jokes are being told is because Jada sat there and told us. So I am confused on why this warranted such a response, immediate response, okay? And I just, I'm looking now and I'm looking at all the people, even Jada was talking about, oh, I felt like I was in danger. Over what, snapping and roasting? Ma, you went to high school, you went to elementary school, somebody calling you G.I. Jane is not, oh, you're so afraid. See, I think that she is going too far and now Chris and then other people are going too far now on Will. Now they use it against Will. Okay. As much as I don't understand, I will not sit with white supremacists and stop on Will and everything he's done. I will not use this as an opportunity to put two brothers against each other. I will not use this as any of that. Will made a mistake. Chris Rock <laughs> took a slap like a G. And I respect Chris Rock for not pressing charges and not trying to allow people to talk crazy about Will and his show. I do, I also feel that Jada is wrong for now trying to act like, oh, Chris Rock was so scary on stage at the Oscars in a tuxedo telling jokes. That was so, you're, you're from Baltimore, but you're afraid of that. I'm about protecting black women. But in this situation, I feel that sometimes Jada needs to protect Will more. Will has, in my opinion, done everything he can to protect Jada. But does Jada protect Will? That's a situation where I felt that Jada could have protected Will. Because, like I said, the insult was not that deep. And now look what they're trying to do to her husband they are trying to demonize him and paint him out to be a man that we have not seen over these years we have seen will smith be a constant professional for a couple decades now one night one rolling of the eye one gesture from jada and all of it could be gone Here's where she could have protected him with it just grabbing him by the arm. It's okay. We could talk to him after. Because don't forget, this is a brother. We are family. That was a family problem that could have been discussed with family, by family, in front of family. But now... The, the police are trying to get involved. They're trying to take the Oscar away from Richard Williams because let's keep it real. That's what that Oscar was for. It was for Richard Williams. So now Richard Williams may not get the recognition in history that he was going to get because of this situation, which I kind of feel like, mm, is this why the situation happened? But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, all I'm saying is that Here's where she could have protected him for the past, what, three years. She has been putting all his business on Front Street. 
all of his business. She has not protected him one iota. And let's keep it real. I'm not saying Will's a saint. I'm saying, do we know what Will is doing? We sure don't, because Will didn't get on Red Table Talk to tell everybody. She has not protected him. And now, they all could suffer. In closing, I don't know if this was real. I don't know if it was fake. I know Chris Rock ticket sales went up. And I know that they're trying to take away this Oscar win that was well-deserved. And they're trying to throw Will Smith under the bus, back the bus right over him, over his body and his career as if, and our own are doing it. Our own are just ready to throw Will Smith out like with the trash, like he didn't just do so much. Like I, I'm, I'm confused, I'm not willing to throw him out. Yeah, he made a mistake. I don't necessarily agree with what he did, but I don't think we should be doing this. We should be standing with our brother and then talking to him like family. So yeah, in conclusion, I don't know if it's real or fake. I don't know any of that, but I do know that it is not, we should not be throwing Will Smith away. And we should not be, on the flip side, we should not be demonizing Chris Rock either for making a joke. Okay, because that wasn't even, it wasn't even an insult, it was a joke. Because I'm, I'm still struggling to find the insult. So on both of those things, they are brothers, we love them, and we're gonna stand with them, we ain't gonna let nobody cancel them, the end.